Hey guys, here's a 2017 Mainstays 12 inch high velocity fan. Uh, I bought this fan nearly five and a half years ago, which is kind of crazy to me. It doesn't seem like I've owned it for that long, but yeah, it's been that long. I bought it in, I think, the summer of 2017. So yeah, it's been that long, and I uh, just wanted to do a, an update on it because this has been probably the most used fan around my entire house so it definitely has accumulated quite a few hours on it and it's due for a cleaning too that's for sure all right so getting up close you can start seeing the accumulation of dirt on the grills and the blades so for the most part my dad has been using this fan to dry the laundry and uh, for five and a half years it's been going strong with no maintenance whatsoever i never cleaned it so all of the dust accumulation is from those five and a half years. Surprisingly, the fan is not too dirty. For some reason, the fans around my house don't really seem to get that dusty, even though they rarely ever get cleaned. So yeah, the camera's actually not doing a good job of picking up the dust. Well, you can kind of see it there. So I'll probably go and open it up this summer and clean it. So yeah, it's been doing a good job. side of it yeah there's some dust buildup yeah you can see them the build up on the blades there and here's the back oh yeah look at that <laughs> Yeah, motor needs to be vacuumed out, probably. So yeah, it needs to be cleaned. But the motor has been perfectly fine with no issues since I oiled it. Alright, so there's the information. It's a model FE30-E2. Made in February of 2017 and... Thermally protected, made in China, all that stuff. Here's another look at the dusty blades and grills. Alright, let's run it up. Alright, so we'll start with low speed. Now the speed sequence on this fan goes from off, low, medium, high, which is a little atypical for a high velocity fan. But kind of seems to be the growing trend for newer high velocity fans. You know, I'm actually starting to hear dry bearings, so, yeah, not only does it need to be cleaned, it needs to be oiled too. But it's understandable, it's been running almost daily for five and a half years. Yeah, it's a good quiet low speed, which is something you don't often see with high velocity fans of today. They tend to go really fast on all speeds. Alright, let's bump it up to medium. I believe for the most part my dad uses it on low because it does stir up plenty amount of air just to dry the laundry. And I believe I paid around $30 for this back in 2017 at Walmart. So not a bad price. And of course nowadays with inflation, prices of everything including fans are just skyrocketing. So looking back, this was actually a pretty good deal. It wasn't even on sale actually, so yeah. And last but not least, 
and swap it up to high. So this fan does have a pretty good separation between the three speeds. So it's not a super fast fan on high, but it's it moves, it moves a good amount of air, a lot more than a 12 inch oscillating fan. And also one other thing I like about this fan is that the tilting mechanism doesn't have a limiter on it, so you can rotate this fan, fan head anywhere you want, straight up, backwards if you wanted to, straight down. So that's really nice. I think my dad usually has it pointing about 45 degrees up, kind of like this, at the laundry racks. Alright, we'll let it coast down now. All around, I think this is a great fan. Um, I don't think Walmart sells this fan anymore. They only had it for a couple of years between 2017 and 18, and these were taken off the shelves. Yeah, overall, I think it was very well worth the 30 bucks I paid for it. A couple of complaints I have. I'm not really a fan of this matte black finish because I find that it chips a lot easier than the chrome or metallic or uh, glossy finishes. You can see an example here at the factory when they were tightening the screw it already chipped the paint there. Um, another complaint I have is the I don't know, just the overall motor quality doesn't seem to be the greatest. There's not a whole lot of wick material inside. And also, I'm not sure if it was this one where I actually returned one of them before. There was a little bit of rust on the stator. Yeah, it was this one actually. Lighting's not the greatest here. Let me turn it around. Yeah, there's a little bit of rust on the stator lamination. So that's not very cool, but it hasn't really gone worse, so whatever. But all around, this is a good fan. And also this angle does a good job of highlighting the amount of dust on the blades. But anyways, for those who are fans of startup sounds, including myself, this fan in fact does have one. It's pretty much only audible on low, but nonetheless, here it is up close. It's pretty faint, but it is there. And also, I'm a really big fan of the switch. It's a very nice knob there that you can just grab. And also, the the detents in the switch, it's got a really nice snap to it. So when you turn it, it just snaps into position really, really nice. A lot of cheaper switches tend to have kind of a gritty feel to it when you turn it. But this one's nice and smooth. So all around a good fan. Definitely glad I got it. Alright guys, and that is the 2017 Mainstays 12 inch high velocity fan from Walmart after five and a half years. I can't believe it's been that long. Alright, so that's going to be it for this one, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.